What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. And this time, I'm doing a tutorial on the cloner effect, which was uh, introduced to me by my friend Boost here. Um, and I knew about this effect before, I didn't really know how to name, and I didn't really use it the way he kind of showed me. So his uh, channel will be in the description, go check him out, he's really awesome. Um, but yeah, so big shout out to him for letting me know about this um, and telling me to do a tutorial on it because he could have easily just done it himself, but he offered uh, for me to do it. So uh, basically what this effect does, you can put objects on like splines and objects. Um, so as you can see here, there's the phase logo and has a bunch of phase logos around it and in it. And then here there's a spline with a bunch of the logos on it. And here is a spline with uh, pyramids and this one has spheres. So uh, you can really mess around with the settings, get some cool ass effects. So uh, I'm just going to start out with the logo here. So you have the logo, I'm just going to duplicate it. Then make a little tiny one. Then I'm going to go to MoGraph, Cloner, put the tiny one in the cloner. Go to the cloner settings, go to mode, go to object. Uh, go down here where it says object, click the little arrow and click the big logo and it will like, distribute the logos around. Now you can go to the cloner and you can just mess with the settings. Uh, go to distribution and you can just mess around do different things. Um, there's a lot of cool ones uh, if you mess around. I'm just going to go um, volume I believe. And I'm going to put the count up really high. I'm just going to go all out and um, I'm actually going to go make the logo a little smaller like that and then I'm going to go to the cloner make sure you have the cloner selected for this if you're doing it and I'm going to go to MoGraph Effector Random and it'll like make it spray around like that uh, I don't really want that so I'm going to uncheck position I'm going to check rotation and I'm just going to mess around randomly and just put these up really high like that so now I just like a bunch of logos sticking out and um if you don't like how they're sticking out of the logo and you just want them behind or something um, you can just go to the original object here and you can like duplicate it and then move it forward like that so then it's kinda like all behind which is really nice because if you don't duplicate it and you just move this the logos will stay in it and I don't, I don't know of a way to uh, make them not be in there um, so yeah um, now if you want it on a uh, spline or something, and you can use any shape for this by the way, so I can just delete that and I can put like a cube in, uh, cube in. <laughs> uh, I put a cube in, I can put a cube in it, oh wrong thing, and it'll do the same thing, uh, you can mess around, you can get a lot of cool effects, like it's really awesome, there's so much you can do, but alright, let's say um, I want to get like a spline here, so I'm just going to go to this view, get the bezier thing, uh, I'm just gonna go make it a little random like that little squiggly thing I'm gonna go I'm gonna do the same thing duplicate this make it small go to MoGraph cloner put the, uh, put the little logo in there go to cloner uh, object click the arrow, click the spline this time, logos will pop up there, go to the uh, go to mess around with the settings um, as you can see the settings are a little different for spline um, all you, you can really just crank up the count um, and for this I just simply go make sure I have cloner selected, go to MoGraph Effector Random and this time I kinda keep position on but I'm just gonna drop it so it's like 20 and put rotation on just again randomize it and I'm actually gonna put scale on because you can actually get some bigger parts and stuff and it's pretty cool I'm gonna keep it one throughout so uh, some of them are bigger than others and I'm gonna go back to the cloner settings and I'm just gonna increase the count so it just fills up something like that and you can just play around the settings get a lot of cool things I don't really like to scale on this, so I'm just going to uncheck that, keep it all the same. And then I'm just going to go to the spline and move it back behind here, so it's like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then again, you can just take out that and use any object you would want. Um, so you could probably create like cool abstract styles uh, with this. Um, and just mess around and get cool things. So there we go, there's like a... I don't really know what that looks like. It looks like kind of like some cell things, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty cool. 
can mess around, can do a lot of neat things. If you guys remember my crystal style, which was just a temporary one banner thing that you guys asked for a tutorial on, it used a sim like similar effect. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. Again, big shout out to my friend Boost. Um, yeah, so mess around with this, create some cool styles. If you guys create anything you really like, feel free to tweet it at me at Quezzy. Go follow me at Quezzy. Be really awesome. I'm approaching that 10,000 subscriber mark, so if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Share this video, do whatever you want. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later.